I'm Kim from Granny's Legacy Patterns, and I'd like to show you a few of our favorite things today that we use in our wool applique. And hopefully, if you're a veteran or a beginner, these will aid in your projects, and in the end, you will have a project that's worthy of show competition. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is scissors. And through the years, I've tried them all. Every scissor is in my arsenal, but I have come to the conclusion that this Havel six inch scissors is my very favorite. It clips things easily and the very tiniest shapes come out wonderfully when you use this sharp tipped scissors. The second thing I'm gonna talk about is marking tools. I love different marking tools for different things. The clover, chalk wheel is wonderful for marking the centerpiece something that you need to find the center so you can lay out what you're going to be doing it makes wonderful easy marks for laying out if you need a quadrant to work around this is nice but it doesn't stay on through the whole project so if you're going to use it for embroidery lines it isn't as effective something that's more effective for that is a bone chalk pencil and this works nice, it gives you nice fine lines, but it also has the problem that it does work off after a little while. If you're going to be doing something that you want to last through all your embroidery, the clover gel pen is wax, and it doesn't come off until you touch it with a hot iron. And it's wonderful, it's just like a ballpoint pen. You use a very light hand with this, and you can use it at the end to sign your name and embroider that because all of our projects should be labeled with our name and date. It also is nice for drawing vines. You can make little swirlies and, and add vines to your projects. So the Clover Iron Off Gel Pen, white marking pen is wonderful for that kind of a thing. The other thing I'd like to talk about is our very own Pressing Affair pressing sheet. Oftentimes, when you've got all your little pieces cut out and you're ready to adhere them to your background, a large pressing sheet, the canvas kind, you can put them on, you can't see through, you just hope that everything's there where you left it, and you bring it off and it, things have misaligned or something. This is nice and lightweight, and that you can see through so you know all your pieces are just in the right place. You can use a very hot steam iron so all your pieces are just set in place through your whole project. So the other nice thing about this is wool does scorch and you need to use a certain amount of heat and steam. And this will protect your very lovely wool pieces using this pressing sheet. Thank you for joining us at Granny's Legacy Patterns and we hope you enjoy working with wool as much as we do.